Hello everyone, this is Core 955 And this is Genshi, also known as Terror Shadow 15 from YouTube. And we're bringing you and a brand new series. <laughs> yep, this is a brand new series where we're working together, the co-op through this terrible, terrible experience. At least we aren't going with six. I would, I would rather throw myself into that beating. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Although, I think that, yeah, 6 is even worse in this regard. Oh, yeah. Chris! 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 Looking good, Sheva. <laughs> <laughs> Partner? Mmm, that booty. So hypnotic. Run away! To the butcher! Chris is coming for you! I'm gonna take you to the butcher and take out your meat. I'm gonna <laughs> run. So I was gonna be. <laughs> <laughs> and no one notices anything. They're just gone. <laughs> Pretty much, they all decide to poof. Except for the flies. I'm kind of curious how this game would have been if it was a solo game instead of co-op. You mean, so if Capcom wasn't trying to. Panda and say, oh, we're not racist. Look, we got a black character as the main characters. Because, uh, because Sono, one of Fogwar was saying, oh, this game is racist because uh, one black dude said. So, well, I mean, for you. Now, we, now we got a black chick who was nowhere. Who was basically added in that last minute and has no bearing in the blood whatsoever. Yep. I mean, I don't mind Sheva as a character, Ooh, but gameplay-wise, she's annoying as hell. Yeah, and also, she could have been a great character had she not been forced into the game in the last minute. Yeah. Honestly, it's, it's not my... It's definitely not my favorite as Neville, but... I said, I have been told it is a lot of fun to play co-op, though. Yeah, it's the, definitely the probably the highlight of the game, the co-op. Yeah. If you're not playing with the AI partner who gets you killed multiple times. Also, that's one thing I like about Everyone. Dead Space 3, though, is it's co-op, but it's also Check. single player. You don't have to oh. have uh, a co-op. I did play it for a bit, but I haven't completely finished it. Yeah, they actually get a different story. And it's more action focused. <laughs> well, yeah. Well, well, no, I was talking about the fact that there's a bit of a different story between the co op and the regular. Do you have an infinite ammo gun? Yep. <laughs> I am going to feed you to the. I can't remember what they're called. Magini? Yeah, Magini. I almost said Ganados, but wrong game. Do you know? uh, don't worry, we're not gonna play professional mode because that will be torture, so we're gonna die in one one hit kills us. So like pretty much most of the enemies in the game that aren't yep. basics. Fucking it, imagine being ki ki killed by a rubber ball to the head. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would suck balls. I thought Chris was a build build build. I was gonna say, a uh, big man who can stand <laughs> punches when a rubber ball kills him. Pretty much. It's a box! Yoink. Ah. Ah, the control scheme are completely different in the PS4 version. Yeah, I, I, I haven't... Actually, I am noticing that. I did play a, about an hour to... Ooh, a box. I'm like a cat, just easily distracted. But yeah. If, we, hmm? if we're gonna play the professional mode, we have to, you know, how should I say? Oh yeah, stick to each other, glue to each other the whole game. Yeah, I'm not playing professional mode because said uh, I don't, I don't feel like torturing myself today. Yeah, and also I'm um. <laughs> Lone Wolf, so the team play has never been my strongest, been always stuck with the partner. <laughs> yep. It's not my strongest suit. Yeah, I said, I like how Dead Space did the co-op, though. It's like, you get a different story if you play with co-op, and 
both characters actually get a different story, extra voice acting. It's it, but it's not the exact same shit. Yep. That's because Carver is also just not a bad character. Chris is gonna have a harder time in in sex life when he went with steroids. <laughs> Yeah, I, I don't think they've been complaining about the size of his machete any. To be honest, I'm not... I'm not bothered by Chris being more muscular than Leon. Oh, oh. Here goes the bad scene. God, that's terrible. Ew. Man, they really made the Plogos just even more fucked. Yep. Also, that's just a waste of a Plogos, because we're just about to kill this man. Are you okay? Yep. Looks like Ouroboros is hatching faster than Lost Plogos. I mean, Lost Plogos took, it, took its time with Leon and Ashley. Yep. Well, remember, they were injected as eggs. In this one, he it was a fully grown Plogos just shoved down his mouth. Ugh. Yep. That is kind of gross. Still better than RE7's horror. There we go. Let, let's punch. <laughs> yeah, pull the punching arms. <laughs> what the hell just happened? Not good things. That's exactly what just happened, Sheva. Let's see what's on TV. Oh, it's blood. Blood? Hope this is not Sheva's blood. No, it was... it was Wesker's. Yeah, the Netflix... yeah, you probably heard that rumor, so there was a Netflix TV series with the Wesker having... Um, two daughters. Yeah, because oh, I always remember on. Wesker being a benevolent, loving father. Oh, God. If he did have children, it would just be... Oh, God. Run around. If he did have children, it would just be for his own gain. I agree. I, I, absolutely. It doesn't make sense Wesker to otherwise have children. I mean, it makes about as much sense as Jake having superpowers. Yeah. Unless that woman Wesker was sleeping with dropped him or something. Pretty much. Well, it's more of, by the time he's fully grown, he shouldn't, you know, like he wasn't able, he was conceived before Wesker had powers. Come on. Yeah. But apparently, according to Dory 5, and Wesker was one of those Wesker children that was able to survive. It, it turns out Wesker had the, you know, antivirus that can combat any virus. Well, yeah, it was basically he had the genetics and stuff that would, uh, what's it called? Match, or uh, go wet, work with the viruses. Or whatever. Yeah, yeah it allowed the him to adapt. The is so far up, far up its own ass right now. <laughs> well, you mean like how people are trying to s suggest that it should have fucking werewolves? Yep, in... Like RE8 is apparently. It's gonna yep. be about that. As I said, I'm I'm fairly certain this it's just some nerd ass inserting his stupid fantasies in the series. I miss miss the times when everything was more simple. That we have that slowly revealing the be schemes behind Umbrella in the classic games. And it was SCIENCE! Not but in the RE4, Receiver 4, they, they killed off Umbrella off screen. Yep. And killed nine games worth of build up, too. I know, right? Damn it, I wish you hadn't have went in there. I was grabbing I mean, the ammo. I love Receiver 4, but there's no denying that it kind of took inspired the series downfall and it also kind of took a. 
decorated in uh, quality and storytelling. I know Resident Evil is not best known for that st story that, but I like their stories in the classic games. It was simple, it was fitting, it was cheesy, but it never got so far up its own ass. You know, it knew what it was trying, it was trying to be a B-movie, it wasn't trying to be Metal Gear. Yeah, now we, Resident Evil 6, they basically took that family, the Patriots concept with the whole family, which is not even well integrated into the plot whatsoever. Yep. Oh, and now we've got the reverse racism. The only white guy, besides your main character, gets decapitated by a cheering mob of black people. You know... Not that I think about it, in the original concept of RA5 had that if you're too too long in the sunlight, it starts to take your health away. You have to stay in the shadows. I thought that, that would have been a kind of cool concept. Yeah, but it also just makes no sense. From a gameplay. Like, I get in real life, Africa, it's fucking hot. But it just seems like a, an annoying uh, thing in a non-survival based game. Like, I could see that fitting in, like, Rust or, you know, something like that. Yeah. But in a game where it's a survival horror, where, you know, just hoarding ammo and stuff, it doesn't quite make as much sense. Yeah, you got a point there. But at least it would have given some sense of tension or suspense, even though if... This whole game takes mostly in the sunlight. <laughs> Come on, break the wall down, you fuckers, so we can Benny Hill this bitch. Let's break down the... Oh, shit. <laughs> well, we still have to wait for them to break down the wall. Do you remember how to get a Gatling gun from Chris? Oh god, what? Didn't you have to do the professional bullshit to get that? No, actually you have to upgrade the chills uh, machine gun. I forgot the name name of it. You have to upgrade it and then you can unlock the Gatling gun. <laughs> oh, damn it! Uh, which, which one is it? The starting machine gun you get here? No, 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 it, it's... I forgot the name, name, the, the, the one that Jill was using when she was, you know, mind-controlled by oh. that V9. Uh, I don't remember. I said I didn't play a lot. Actually, no, I did play the entire game, but it's been fucking years. It's since it originally released, the last time I touched it. Now comes, now soon comes the Executioner. The thing that they use in the live action films as well, and... More like the Axe Executioner. Yes, punch him in the face! Even though the Executioner had no point being in... Uh, you in mean... Evil afterlife. You mean almost as pointless as the fucking zombies having the Plogon mouse? Uh, pre pretty much. Pretty much. Where they were just inserting RE5 shit, the... Uh, appeal to the newer fans. Yep. Come on, give me the gun. Yes, the scorpion. I found a scorpion. Oh, that was a gun. There's the executioner, boy. You know what I like? Oh, I shocked game? him! <laughs> What? I don't like the neck breaker from Chris. I guess Chris has been trained with Hunk to break people's necks. I deployed all of your grenades. Just deck him right in the mouth. Hey, machine gun ammo. Yeah, that's gimme. Gimme. I gotta say, the melee is definitely more improved in this game than in Resident Evil 4. Shit, where are you? Oh, he's dead. Look at this. Ah, shit. <laughs> There's just no end to them. You're not wrong, Sheva. You're not wrong. Mmm, the neck breaker. I'd honk too. 
Yeah, you have to shoot their knee kneecaps and run behind them in order to do that. <laughs> ah. I I have been hit in the ankle by one of them. What the hell's that one using? Looks like a a barbed wire stick. Like this. Run away. Ah, fuck. Oh, I taught Kato a trick today. I taught her how to do the infinite herb trick in Code Veronica. Ah, I remember that trick, that glitch that gives you infinite herbs. Oh yeah, so useful for knife runs. I, I think there was also the infinite grenade glitch in here somehow, but I'm not sure how to do it. <laughs> ah, I didn't know that was a thing in this game, though it doesn't surprise me that it is. You having fun over there? Yep, I've been my time. Bullets, bullets, bullets. Come on. Oh fuck. I don't want you. You are not my friend. Hunk <laughs> would be a great te teammate. <laughs> Chris. Yeah, they just snap next. Just combo neck snapping. Chris, Shava, how you holding up? I'll be there shortly. Just hang in there. Ow. Kirk, you had one job. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. There you go, I freed you. Now time for me to run oh. away. Damn it! I'm coming! <laughs> Hold on, I'm just healing you. Oh, I can heal myself, I'm just... I just came back to save you. See a pile of bullets? I want the bullets. Damn it. Give me those bullets. Any more? This guy is just standing, standing here. Get off me, bitch. <laughs> I'm gonna take out the door. Find some cover. Kaboom time. Oh yeah. Kirk, you had one job. Get here as soon as possible. Also not to be murdered by flying bugs. And he fails both of them. You know, Resident Evil after a while uses a lot of stuff from this game. Ugh. Yeah. <laughs> Without any context whatsoever. Because they're not even in Africa. Yeah, and there's also the thing that, you know, where they just start scaling the, the, the tower, or where there's just a sea of zombies, which makes no fucking sense. How would the zombies pile up to that degree, unless it was like a giant walled city? Exactly, it doesn't make any lick of sense. Yeah, it's just like, so how the fuck is this... Working. Then there's also that part where that Chris say, the Wesker saying, "You really but become inconvenience for me," despite the fact that they had never met in the films at all. Yep. The film acts like it takes take place in the same universe as the games, which it doesn't. Yep. Okay. Yes, more firepower for my machine gun. And who could have thought we'd see Chris Redfield in a prison? Pretty much. Like, why was he even in prison anyways? I forgot, it was some something like that. Something happened and they, they blamed him or something like that. I don't really care. I feel it was something dumb. Oh, it... The one weapon you have to up, fully upgrade is the VZ-61. Yeah, oh, I can't fully you know, upgrade it, but yeah. Then we can unlock the Gatling gun. Oh, he, so it is the starting machine gun. Oh, there's your pile of uh, sniper rounds. Hey, this is a perfect place. We're about at our 20 minutes. Damn right. <laughs> All right, so this has been Core. And this has been Genshi, aka Terius. We hope you enjoyed. We'll see you in the next part. Peace out. Peace out. <laughs>